world of birds. We hope you will leave the show feeling amazed by our bird conservation champions and be inspired by all our feathered friends across the world. Now, speaking of feathered friends, I'm sure all of you would have seen some of them running on stage, right? Well, those are our Batam chickens. They are here to commemorate the year of the rooster. Many of you think that chickens cannot fly, but that's not true. Let's see if the next one will be able to fly and land on my head, okay? With that, everyone, keep your eyes on that hut. We'll be seeing a chicken in a very short while. Can you all see her? No? Okay, by the way, the next chicken flying down will be Chiki, our female bum bum chicken. Hey Chiki, are you there? People on this side, can you all see her? Because I can't see her from where I am standing. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, that's Eileen, not Chiki, okay? <laughs> Eileen is here to um, usher Chiki out. Can you see her? Oh, hi Chiki, over here. There you go. Good flight down. Well done. Can we give Chiki a round of applause? Okay, I'm going to leave you on the table right here. I'm sure you know your way back home, right? See you later. Okay, right now we are going to highlight the natural behaviors of macaws. Macaws in the wild, they love to congregate on palm trees to feast on palm nuts. Can you see any palm trees anywhere? We have a palm tree here. So with that, let's welcome the birds. So everyone look right back there. And here comes Gaia, our hyacinth macaw. Joining her will be Ferrari, our scarlet macaw. A macaws like them can be found in the forest of South America. After feeding these birds, they often fly to rocky areas such as this to lick up on clay or chalk. This would help them with the digestion of any unripe palm nuts or fruits that they have eaten. Now, looks like the both of them are still enjoying their fruits up there, but not to worry. This will definitely be their next stop. In the meantime, we have four birds joining us on stage. Birds, they often gather food for their young during nesting season. And we are going to have a little competition to see who is faster at gathering fruits, okay? And they need some water. Okay, so from people from this side, all the way to this side, you will support Koki, our scarlet macaw. So I want all of you to clap your hands and cheer for him just like me. Koki, Koki, Koki. Ah, what an excited bird he likes. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you, you will support Mikan, our harlequin macaw. So the same thing, Mikan, Mikan. Right here with me, I have a hollow tree trunk where these two birds will be gathering four fruits each. Okay, supporters ready? Birds ready and go!
try his very best, right? So let's give it up for our playful McCoss. Thank you. Jerome Bird Park, we give our birds five.